Good morning, fellow peeps and folks. I'm Ellie, and today we are watching Red vs. Blue, Season 14, The Anthology, Episodes 6, 7, and 8. Uh, 8 is pretty short, so I didn't know if I would put it to 6 and 7 or to 9 and 10. Um, but I do think that 6 and 7 are a little bit shorter than 9 and 10, not much, but um, those three and a half minutes of 8 are gonna be fine I guess. Um, so we have orange is the new red, sure I guess. Um, invaders from another mother, don't know what to expect from that, and the number one movie in the galaxy. Since this is only three and a half minutes long, I, I don't know, I, <laughs> I'm kind of thinking about like a trailer. Or like a review kind of thing. But yeah. I guess we'll just jump right in and see what it where it takes us because honestly I I don't know. Let's go. Actually one good thing with this is that I can basically stop at any point. And it probably won't be too bad. I mean of course, yeah, we have the episodes two, three, and four kind of thing that were connected. But it's not like total cliffhangers and all that every time around. <clears throat> I don't know how much I will get done today. I don't think I'll get through the whole season, but maybe I will, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. So let's go in three, two, one, and go. You know, when most people talk about the Reds and the Blues, mm -hmm. they're talking about my boys in Blood Gold. Of course. But lots of dudes forget that there's a bunch more primary colored commandos all over all right. the galaxy. So we're taking a look at those. Idiots. Orange is the new red. Of course, a reference to orange is the new black. Which I haven't watched, but I know what it is about, so... Desert. That music. Oh, that one's gonna stink. And the turf. They all stink. Every single one always stinks. Yeah, hmm. but this one really stinks. We have the worst fucking CO. That'll be five yep. laps, drag. Uh, yes, sir. What's the point of this stupid helmet if it doesn't even keep the smell of your farts out? You just picked the wrong helmet, Morgan. I can't smell anything, and I look cool as hell. Oh, yeah, mm, ooh, check that. All right. Oh, yeah, check my ass, yeah. Sure. Colonel Turf, sir, we've been searching this desert for hours. There's no way we're going to find any blues out here. <sighs> Morgan's right, Turf. Plus, even if we did find some blues... Which we're not. I'm not sure anything could survive out here for more than a day or so. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. But was that five laps, Lieutenant? Sir, I'm carrying a pound of sand between my butt cheeks, and I am literally covered head to toe in armor. That's well a done. personal problem, Lieutenant. And this is a professional is situation. We have an assignment. To eradicate the blue, sir. Santos is calling from the ship. Ugh. This is Colonel Turf. What's wrong, Santos? How come every time I check in on you guys, you always assume something's wrong? Tell him it's because something usually is wrong. I mean... Everything's fine down here. No sign of anything. How's everything on the ship? Uh, well, there's no wine bars, I can tell you that. He says that every time. And it's never funny. Well, hold on. Well, it was a little bit funny the first time. Why would they put a wine bar on a spaceship? Exactly, it doesn't make any sense. Spaceships don't have wine bars. So why well, is he so surprised? Depends it's depends which franchise or, or have to make sense movie or jump. whatever we're yeah, talking about. But why would they put a wine bar on a spaceship? Forget it. You guys are always shitting on my dreams. Dreams suck. Santos, get on with it. <sighs> well then. I just wanted to let you know that we think we may have fixed the ship's artificial vocal modulator. So we'll be able to communicate with the ship's AI. That's right. Okay. Great. Someone new to argue with. Wait, how'd you even do that? I just read the manual. Huh. Yeah, some Depends people do that. Really think of everything. Okay, we're gonna beam back to the ship. Okie dokie. I'll let Cherry know. Uh, who? Cherry, I need you! Of course, Major Santos. 
What do you need? Can you beam back turf, drag Morgan and Sue from the desert? Chew the desert, sir? Unfortunately, I don't have a physical mouth, so I cannot... No! Mm -hmm. Sue from the desert! Teleport them back! Oh, yeah. yes, of course, sir. Initiating process now. Thank you! I mean, you if that works... don't have to yell, sir. Oh. Sorry! Yelling again. Ready up. We're headed back to the ship. I hate this part. It feels like someone crams a big electric rod up my ass. Well done. All soldiers fully transported. Thank you, Cherry. Word up. I can't believe you named her Cherry. It's because she's so sweet. She belongs to an alien race bent on the eradication of our species. Why not? That was the old me. The new me is happy to serve you, feeble human scum. <laughs> well, See? feeble human is scum. Is okay? I think I just poop more sand than poop. Um, why Roll did call. you do that in your armor anyway? Lieutenant Drag! Major Santos! Private Sue! Private Peak! And... This is my favorite part. Captain Morgan! <laughs> wow. Wow. Seriously? Every day we do this and every day all of you laugh. It's always funny! Is all it right, though? Alright, settle down, settle down. Listen up, boys. <clears throat> and lady. Do alien AI constructs have genders? Absolutely. Trust me. What is that? Mean. Enough. Um. I understand your recent frustration. I don't know. Maybe. As you all know, we have a directive. If they our choose to. Our assignment is to destroy all the blues, no matter the cost to ourselves or our butts. Think of the butts, Colonel. Regardless, like any good leader, I am attuned to the morale of this squad. Mm -hmm. Ergo, I prepared a presentation designed specifically to raise spirits and remind all of you exactly why you're here. Of course. Give me three minutes. I'm gonna go make some popcorn. Wait, we have popcorn? Of course we do. It's popcorn. Not a fucking wine bar. Someday. I mean, sure. Well, as I'm sure you already know, we're unit FH-57. A group of red soldiers <laughs> who battled for months wow. against the unit AH-13. Naturally, we defeated them. Hang on. We didn't really defeat them. Cherry did. Okay, fine. Sure. So we kind of defeated the PowerPoint the journey. During a routine observation mission, Beautiful. Private Sue reported seeing a bright object appear in the sky. Approximately three minutes later, that object came crashing down directly onto the blue base. Upon further inspection, we discovered that the noise we heard was, in fact, an alien spacecraft okay. with a horrible sense of direction. That incident was user error. Thank you very much. <laughs> when we inspected the I wreckage, was not we at found fault. that the alien crew, <laughs> as well as every member of the Blue Squad, was dead. Uh, about that. Private, please do not interrupt the presentation. Mm -hmm. These slides do not make themselves. Sure. Poor little guys. Poor little nothing! Thankfully for us, the spaceship remained intact and... Cherry was kind enough to let us come aboard. It was the least I could do after the crash. That was entirely user error, as I mentioned before. Of course. So, was it our plan to have a giant spaceship crash down on the blue base? Nope. No. <laughs> but did we capitalize on that opportunity like a couple of badass soldiers and treated us seemingly in this battle with our cerulean enemies? Hell oh, yeah! Yeah! I guess. Uh, not to be a downer, but that was months ago. Since then, we've just been wandering around in this ship searching for blues with nothing to show for it. Morgan's right. It might be our mission to seek out and destroy any blues we find, but we can't find any blues. Hmm. And I'm all out of popcorn. Oh no. No popcorn. It's an emergency. Uh, what's that? <laughs> Cherry? New location identified. Scanning for life forms. Okay. Life forms detected. Mother oh, of no. God. You ever wonder why we're here? It's one of life's great mysteries, isn't it? Why are we here? I mean, are we the product of... I mean, we have a set timeline now. Or is there really a God watching everything? You know, with a plan for us and stuff. I don't know, man. But it keeps me up at night. What? I mean, why are we well, I'll here? be damned. Where there's reds, there's blues. What are they doing? What? I said, what are they doing now? God damn, I'm getting so sick of answering that question. You have a fucking rifle. I can't see shit. Don't bitch at me because I'm not going to just sit up They're just watching the show. Blue's back on the menu, boys. Roll call. Oh, no. Captain Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> to be continued. All right. God damn it. So the invaders from another mother. 
episode might just be, you know, a continuation of this. All right, good, we're watching them together anyway, so let's just continue there. Let's go with their, let's see what they're doing. I can't believe it. Well, you better believe it. After months of searching, we finally found some blues that need blasts. Mm -hmm. No matter the cost to ourselves. You might this not be allowed than any to do that. Soldier. Our prime directive is back in effect. Jerry, set a crash course for the blue base. <laughs> We're gonna crush these bugs. Brush what drugs, sir? No, crush the bugs. We're gonna crush these bugs. Oh, of course, sir. All right. Uh, Colonel, don't you think you're being a little bit rash? Setting course for Blue Base. Do you think they called George Washington rash? Verifying coordinates. They're George just Washington doing that. never tried to crash a spaceship into a military compound hidden in a canyon filled with blue armored space marines. <laughs> Sounds like I got one Well, they're not the most competent himself. ones, Stick so... One teeth into that, George. Honestly, okay. if you weren't that Suicide. stupid yourself, you'd Suicide be fine. <laughs> Who even calls it that? Must be a glitch in her vocal translation protocol. I should make a note to fix that. Well, I'll be dead by then! You don't have to yell at me. Jeez, fine. I'll go fix it. Peek, let's go. We work with idiots. Brave idiots. Godspeed, soldiers. Suicide crash protocol to save. Well done. What the? <laughs> Just what do you think you're doing, soldier? Hear me out. We don't know anything about these blue soldiers. Yeah. There could be a ton of them we haven't even seen yet. Oh, no. Sure, we could crash into their base and take out a couple of them, but how many others would survive? Even if we really, really want to wipe the blues out, we should learn more about them, right? Recon. Well, I don't like the idea of restraint. I must admit I do admire your commitment to the complete genocide all right. of all blues. What do you suggest? What about a good old-fashioned scouting party? Of we'll course. Send three of us down there, maybe assess their numbers, scope their location, so that maybe we don't have to kill ourselves? Hmm. hmm. Not kill ourselves, you say? Okay. Whichever one of you two want to join my scouting mission, step forward now. Captain Morgan, Private Sue, thank you for volunteering. Damn it! We didn't move. Uh, sure. I'm pretty sure I saw you move a little. Not at all. Well, maybe a little. No! Well, too bad. This was your idea. Jerry, I mean, prepare the fair point. It was his down. idea. Bigs and machines, just bigs and machines. Just because she's AI doesn't make her mean. Uh. Hey, Peek, could you hand me that wrench? Peek? Not there. Where'd he go? What the Um, what you doing? Oh. Peek? Hello. What's going on? Oh, hey. Um. Whoa. This no, just reminds me of so the. No, you idiot. Look. In the second Ice Age movie. M808, <laughs> the main battle tank, aka the Scorpion. These blues are packed with serious ones. firepower. If we had tried to crash that ship, that tank could have blown us out of the sky. <gasps> hmm. Suicide and no blue casualties. You may have earned yourself a commendation. Thank you, oh, sir. No. Okay, soldiers. If we want How are they going to fail? We've got to take out that tank. Seriously, I thought it was just our monitor, but everything looks really blocky. So, you I mean, know that's how just how blood soldiers, I guess. The life forms on board died? Yeah, we checked every bathroom stall. No sign of anything. Yeah, so that was the problem. We didn't look very hard. I came down here a month ago and found them hiding in the cargo hold next to a bunch of empty incubator things. Aww. They seem pretty hungry and scared, so I brought them some food and I guess they think I'm their leader or something? I mean, why not? Why didn't you say anything? I did, several times, but everyone just ignored me. Aww. That sounds about right, but I don't think you understand. You've got a cult of aliens! Nay, an army! With an army of alien soldiers, we could do whatever we wanted! No more taking orders, no more searching for blues. Um. <gasps> we could take over the ship and turn it into the flying spaceship wine bar I've always dreamed of! Of course! Uh... what? He just wants the wine bar. The turf Morgan and Sue down in the canyon, the only one left on the ship besides us is... Santos! Peek! I think is his name there? was Drag? 
Where did everybody go? So many new names. <laughs> yeah. Maybe run. That must be a well, horror movie for him. This isn't good. Okay, let's recap the plan. Step one. Tank kill. Time to let the tank by distracting the enemy. Destroy Step tank, two. kill blues. Neutralize okay. the tank so we don't get our asses blown to bits. Sure. Step three. Destroy the tank. Step four. Eviscerate the pathetic and now harmless blues. I just love the now that that's clear, clearly wait, MS Paint those are just words. pictures. Complete those steps. Like step one. How do we distract all those blue soldiers? I like to distract them with some sort of dance. Like a desert dance. Desert dance. I'm not gonna sure. say that's the worst idea I've ever heard, but maybe we could do something a bit more strategic. Hmm. Beautiful dance. We could rig that mountain over there with 12 tons of C4 and blow it to hell. There's nothing more distracting than an exploding mountain. Let's just assume we don't have enough firepower for that. So yeah. maybe we just make some noise from that hill. Perfect. Step two. What if we steal it? Like the tank. What if we steal the tank? Hmm. That's actually not such a bad idea. If we took control How of the are tank, you gonna fail? finishing off the blues here would be no problem. What do you think, Colonel? I was just thinking we could bash their heads in with some heavy rocks. But I guess using the tank would be more efficient. Rats. All right. I guess. So you're still alive. Oh, thank God. I've got to get in touch with the Colonel and let him know the ship's overrun with aliens. Jerry? Yes, sir? I need you to contact Turf. Compact Smurfs? But they're already so small, sir. No! <laughs> Contact Turf! Well, damn. He's down in the canyon. You need to let him know that oh, we- Oh, I'm sorry. I can't do that. Why not? My communications link has been modified. I am unable to make any external transmissions. That doesn't make any sense. Who would modify your- God damn it, Santos. Yep. This is related to your damn spaceship wine bar idea. I'm gonna kill you. It is. Okay, Cherry, I'm going to need you to navigate me back to the bridge. I need to reach the others manually. Not a problem, sir. To reach the bridge, follow the hallway you just came from. No, no, it can't be that way. It isn't safe. Oh, well, in that case, you'll have to use the maintenance access route. Okay, where's that? I guess. It's through the engineering bay. <laughs> you'll have to climb through the turbines to reach the maintenance ladder. Unfortunately, the turbines are located behind a restricted access laser oh, no. grid. Oh, no. Laser grid? That's correct. Also, did I mention that the maintenance ladder is on the outside of the ship? Well, <laughs> the tunnel you just came so, from. Everyone's clear on what to do. Desert dance. Got it. No desert dance. Okay, it's time to execute Operation Smash and Bash. Hold on to your butts, boys, because it's going to get nasty. Sure. On my mark. Three, two, one. Oh, hey, guys. Caboose. Who are we hiding from? Freeze! How did you find us? Oh, yeah, well, I uh, saw that guy's desert dance. He came right over. I told you it would work! It didn't work. You ruined the plan. Ah. What plan? We were gonna yeah, what plan? And blow you up and your pals with it. Shut up. Oh, you'll be like earlier. Yeah, it's Caboose. You're, you're fine. What? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, we just uh, lost our leader to a crazy friendly fire thing that totally wasn't my fault. Mm -hmm. Hey. Why do you guys look so smooth? Okay. Uh, can you give us a minute? Okay. He seems a little slow. I yeah. like him. We've been compromised. Our so whole we we can place that again in the timeline. Friendly fire, lost your leader. Sue. Yeah. So it's really important that you don't tell anyone you saw us. Otherwise, we can't kill all of your friends. Ah, uh, that makes sense. I'm gonna kill them both. Nope. You've been teleported again. That was weird. Anyway, oh. let's continue. Girl, we have a problem. Santos wants a wine bar, so we got the aliens, and now they're a cult that worships Peak, and he wants to take over the ship. We weren't even gone for an hour. Slow down there, Drag. What's this about a cult? It's a mutiny. Santos well, wants to take over the ship. Mutiny. Mutiny? Yeah. There's only a few things in this world that I hate more than blues, and you better bet your ass mutiny is one of them. Welcome back, boys. Oh, no. Santos, what are you doing? <laughs> the people Who with the aliens? alien army. Oh, you mean my cult? <laughs> or cult, you know. Uh... Hey, 
wants to turn the ship into a wine bar. No, I don't. I just want to turn it into a religious cult that's a front for a wine bar. That's enough! Sure. Everyone, shut up! I am your commanding officer, and I that's have something not I work. need to say. I understand that the last several months have been stressful. We've been men without a mission, digging through deserts and trapped in this crappy tin can. Hey! I'll also be the first to admit yeah, my don't own insult high Charlie. expectations for all of you. Sometimes I can set the bar too high, and maybe that's not fair. But I'll be damned if I don't see such great potential in all of you. Sure. Lieutenant Drag, you may come off as a cynical asshat, but when your back's against the wall, you get the job done. Major Santos, you may be mounting a mutiny right now! But that's because you don't ever let yourself feel satisfied. All right. Where others see a spaceship, you see a wine bar. Yeah. Private Pete, you have a cult. That's pretty impressive, right? Private Sue. Everything else is just ignored. Maybe the worst ideas in the world. But you're one hell of a dancer. Captain Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> you're the only reason I'm making this speech and not cracking skulls. You've taught me that rushing in, guns blazing, isn't always the best strategy. All right. That sometimes patience and practicality can be more effective than bullheadedness. We're a team. We're all different. How is that gonna work? Team, and that means more than any old prime directive. We've got a spaceship. We can do whatever we want, go wherever we want, be whoever we want to be. And we can do it together. As friends. Stand down, boys. We have no quarrel here. <laughs> friends! Thanks, Colonel. That really means a lot. Yeah. Thanks, Turf. Oh, don't get all crybaby on me. <laughs> I know it's not a full bar, but maybe there's room on the ship for a wine shelf. <gasps> oh, oh, no. Do you really mean it? Sure. Why the hell not? What do you say, boys? Who's up for some shelf construction? Yeah! I mean, why not? Yeah! I guess. Self-destruction initiated. Oh, no. Oh, right. I never fixed the voice module. Oh, well, yep. that happened. That was weird. Kaboo's just not thinking anything about it. Okay, so that is why we didn't get a spin-off for of those guys, because they all died. <laughs> uh -uh. Alright, let's see the little three and a bit minute thing. Hey, compadres! Now, it wouldn't be a season of Red vs. Blue without a PSA. That's when our cast okay. a moment to break character, talk with the audience directly about some real important cultural issues mm -hmm. like voting, tax mm -hmm. evasion, STD tests, and the true meaning of Christmas. Sure. This is not one of those PSAs. Okay, I guess. Okay, preview. Who was he? Some called him a hero. I called him my friend. Okay. Damn. <laughs> Red face entertainment. Army. If we don't stop him now, there won't be any universe left for us to save. Then we're gonna need some help. Listen up, cupcakes! I hope you brought your wallets, cause the rent in hell gets paid in advance! Sure. Why not? Tom Cruise, Robert Downey Jr. Johnny Depp. And Brad Pitt, Adam Sandler. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to go through that again. The Diesel has Tucker. <laughs> Sarge! You should have killed me when you had the chance. This ain't over yet. One of us it's never too late to die. Best time to win some mercy and die. Okie dokie. I mean, sure! Sergeant V. Tucker of the Orchard. Holy shit, that was off the hook! They butchered my movie! What? 
No way! That looks dope as hell! Did Brad Pitt lose weight? It looks like he lost weight. I cannot wait I don't for know. that! Hell yeah! I already pre-ordered my tickets! It was supposed to be a tone piece about the nature of war! And that McConaughey guy's a total miscast for me! The guy has sure. shoulders! Seriously? That whole thing seemed right up your alley. Clearly, you just don't understand my refined tastes, Agent Washington. <laughs> and I can't wait to see what they did with my character. It's not even the real you. It turns out to be an evil clone. Dude, spoilers! Well ah, do you know I missed the Star Trek colon Final Star Trek colon Renovations trailer? Yeah, you did, idiot. I could have been the Bernard Lucci of my generation. God, man, that, that's the whole reason I bought tickets to the movie in the first place. Oh, no. And now for our feature presentation. Woohoo! Laser Team 3! Hey, shut up! Oh, sorry. Okay. So. I was right about the, um. movie trailer kinda. thing that I expected. <laughs> like, the trailer part, but, you know. Okay, honestly, um. I need to look at some of those things again. Um, I mean, of course, like, life action kind of stuff. Um, very interesting how they put it all together. <laughs> Honestly, why not? Okay, so. Tom Cruise. <laughs> of course, why, why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you make that cast choice? Robert Downey Jr. I mean, sure, sure. Johnny Depp, Chris Pratt, Jackie Chan, Brad Pitt. Yeah, I mean, why not, I guess. Adam Sandler. Why would you? I, I don't even know. Kim Kardashian and Kanye West. I mean, the pose says everything, I guess. It, 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 it works with the pose. And Dwayne The Rock Johnson because he has to walk away from an explosion. Why not? Mark Wahlberg. Channing Tatum, of course. Katy Perry, why? Okay, I mean, sure. And Jaden Smith. Alejandro. I don't know this guy, honestly. Um. Just the name. I, I don't know the name. Um, maybe I've seen him somewhere, but I don't know. Dolph Lundgren? Hilda Swinton? Yeah. There's like more, uh, less, less known people there. Of course, Vin Diesel. Why would you? I don't know. Vin Diesel as Tucker doesn't seem like the... I mean, sure, I guess. And of course, Matthew McConaughey. As Sarge. <laughs> this is so weird, but hey, why not? Um, all right, so those were episodes six, seven, and eight. So six and seven belonged together. Um, we followed around like another group of reds, oranges, whatever. Um, they were fun, but yeah, they all died, so no spin-off. <laughs> I like how at some point they just watch the show, basically. <laughs> yeah, and Caboose just... Yeah, C Caboose doesn't... Doesn't tell anyone even if it makes people die, you know? Just, it's it's Caboose. What, what else are you expecting, right? And yeah, that, that last little thing... Okie dokie, I guess... There's gonna be a, a movie made uh, about Sarge and Tucker, apparently. Why not? <laughs> but yeah, um, I think they had a lot of fun, <laughs> um, you know, making that trailer kind of stuff. <laughs> But yeah, uh, not much to say to it, honestly, so I guess that's just gonna be it then for this one. Um, like I ex well expected, like I thought, um, it doesn't matter where to put episode 8, because first it's just a short one and it doesn't seem to be connected to anything, probably. I don't think it's gonna be connected to episode 9. 
But hey, um, yeah, on this note, have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.